Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's recipe is inspired by the newly reopened Narcuzzi's restaurant at the Grand Floridian Resort in Disney World. This is the pan-seared scallops with Parisian gnocchi and a lemon cream sauce. Now, don't run away yet. I know it sounds intimidating and involved, but I promise I am here to show you how to make this luxurious meal in an easy, step-by-step -step fashion. And some of it can actually be done days ahead. It is perfect for any special occasion and sure to impress. So let's go get started. So Parisian gnocchi is actually made from pâte à choux, just like eclairs and cream puffs, but it's boiled. So that's what we're making right now. I have one cup of water, one stick of butter, and one teaspoon of salt in a medium saucepan over medium low heat. And we're just going to bring that to a boil. Then we're adding in one and one quarter cups of flour, all at the same time, and you want to take a wooden spoon and mix it very vigorously until it makes a nice thick dough and it's steaming. You can absolutely continue making this in the same pot, or if you want to save yourself some work, move it over to a stand mixer. And I'm adding in a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, and then once that is incorporated, I'm adding in three large eggs, one at a time. You want to wait in between each egg to make sure that it gets incorporated. Now I'm adding in two tablespoons of chopped basil, you could also use parsley if you'd like, and one teaspoon of garlic powder, just for a little extra flavor. So now I am transferring the dough over to a zip top bag or a piping bag, and we're just going to let that rest on the counter for 10-15 minutes while we get cleaned up. Now I have a pan with parchment paper, and I cut the tip off the end of the bag, and we're just going to pipe lines of this dough on the pan. Now it does not have to be perfect in any way, shape, or form. We're gonna be cutting these into little one inch cubes to make the gnocchi. So if it looks a little funny like mine do, um, it's really no big deal at all. And now I'm also squeezing these all on one pan because we are putting this in the freezer and my freezer is currently packed from our Costco trip so I could only fit the one pan in. Um, if you can fit two, even better to spread them out on the two pans. And then we're going to freeze that for at least three hours so they're easy to cut. And as you can see here, I am just cutting them all up into little cubes. And there you have it. That's our gnocchi. Now from here, you can add these to a zip top bag or some sort of container and freeze them. And they will last for at least a month. Um, or you can continue on and start boiling them in the next step. Okay, so moving on to the lemon cream sauce. It is a lemon truffle cream sauce, but you absolutely can leave the truffle out. I'm not even using real truffles. I use a truffle seasoning that I found on Amazon because they're obviously really expensive and hard to find. So I have one large clove of garlic minced, one lemon zested and cut in half. I'm gonna be using the juice from that. One cup of heavy cream, one cup of peas, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, and one quarter pound of prosciutto diced up. At the restaurant they use tazo ham, I couldn't find any, so prosciutto is just something similar. So I have a large skillet over medium heat with a little bit of oil, and I'm adding in the garlic and prosciutto, and we just wanna cook this until the garlic begins to turn golden and the prosciutto gets a little crisp. And then we're adding in one cup of heavy cream, and you wanna keep mixing as you add it in so it doesn't break when it hits the heat of the pan. And then we're adding in the peas, the lemon zest, the lemon juice, and the Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. 
And here is that truffle seasoning I was talking about. I will link it down below. It's really great on popcorn and different things like that. You can add as little or as much as you'd like. Okay, so I have a large pot of boiling water with salt, and here are our gnocchi out of the freezer. This recipe serves four to six people, so I only did about half the bag for me and my husband, and I'm gonna leave the rest in the freezer for another time. So once the water comes to a boil, we are adding in our gnocchi and just very gently stir them to kind of let them release. Once they start floating, you wanna cook them an additional three to five minutes. Once they float to the top, they are technically done, but it's just nice to give them a couple extra minutes to boil and really firm up. Okay, so we have our warm cream sauce here and we are going to ladle the gnocchi out with a slotted spoon. And I like doing it this way because it gets a little bit of that pasta water in there which will help thicken the sauce. But it's also gentler on the gnocchi so that they don't break. And then once they're all out, we're just gonna give them a stir. And what I like to do is put my oven on the lowest temperature, which is 150 degrees Fahrenheit for me. And I just pop the entire pan right into the oven just to keep it warm while we're working on the scallops. That way there's no rush of trying to get everything done all at the same time. Okay, so I have some large, beautiful sea scallops here, about four per person. And I'm showing you here, there's a muscle on the side of some scallops. So you wanna just remove that before cooking. And then we're going to pat these very dry, wash our hands of course, and then season with salt and pepper. Now to cook these I have a large skillet with oil over medium high heat. You want this pan hot but not smoking. And I lay the scallops down in clockwise order so I know which one hit the pan first for flipping. Now the trick with scallops is to leave them alone for two to three minutes. They will release on their own when they are ready. Even mine stuck a little bit. A non-stick pan is really the way to go. Then you don't have to worry at all. You'll get a nice crust. I had just gotten rid of mine, of course, because it was old, but we make do. So here we have our beautiful finished dish. Just serve the scallops right on top of the gnocchi and serve immediately. Well, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a like because it really helps my channel. And subscribe if you want to see some more fun recipes in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!